Hi, Stephen. Uh, first, can I just get your reaction to the Swans news about Neil Lennon obviously leaving Celtic? Uh, well, well, look, I mean, I can't say I'm surprised because um, obviously what's been going on over there. Um, but I, I obviously take no personal satisfaction from seeing that news to Neil or to any fellow manager that, that happens to. Um, so I wish him well for the future. Um, only really found out about it this morning. Um, but obviously the focus for me sitting here right now is obviously on the game tomorrow. Last week was quite an open match um, with Antwerp. Do you anticipate tomorrow night being something similar or do you think that given they don't really have a lot of room for manoeuvre now, they may try and keep it tight and maybe see if they can get something from a set piece or whatever and, and keep it live going into the last 15 minutes? Well, to be honest with you, I can only really tell you uh, how I think we're going to approach it. I don't really know what the opposition are going to do in terms of their manager's tactics or their game plan. Um, obviously, the scoreline sits how it is in terms of the advantage we've got. Um, but we certainly won't be going in with that mentality. We see this as a fresh game. Uh, we certainly want to improve on our performance uh, from a defensive point of view. We want to be a lot more tighter and a lot more difficult to play against. Um, but having said that, we still want to carry a threat and um, we want to try and score as many goals as we can. We're at home. Um, we're not going to sit and wait um, and protect. We're going to uh, treat this game in isolation and go for the win and be really aggressive and bold in how we play because you know this is our home and we want to show everyone how difficult it is to play against this team when they come to Ibrox. Morning, Stephen. Good Obviously, morning. with Antwerp being behind, do you imagine they're going to come and be a bit more on the front foot? Could that play into Rangers' advantage going into the second leg? We'll have to work it out. Um, we, we'll have our own game plan and the players will have um, our own way about going things. And we'll see how Antwerp set up, but the players are going to have to be clever. They're going to have to be uh, aware of Antwerp's game plan. And I think that'll be um, in the opening stages. We'll see whether they come and press us and get after us. Uh, if they do, we'll try and utilise the space behind them and we'll try and play through that press and, and do whatever we can. Um, and we'll also be ready if they, you know, come with a little bit more of a, a cagey approach. We have to adapt on the job and um, be ready for whatever's thrown at us, but we will make sure that the players are prepared for whatever's thrown at us. But for me, it's always a case of the focus being on us and how we're going to be about it and how many problems we're going to cause the opposition. And we've been fantastic at home um, and we want to be right on the front foot from the off and really go and put in a performance to make our supporters proud. If we do that, I'm confident we can finish the job off. But we certainly got respect for this opposition because they showed last week that they've got dangerous players. Uh, we know they're going to welcome one or two back as well. So um, we have to be at it and at our best. And that's why the focus has got to be on us. Hi, Stephen. I'm able to get just a, an injury update on Ryan Jack and the progress of James and Kamar. Uh, yes, nothing's changed in terms of the James and Kamar. Um, we obviously have had the reports back on the scans and. Um, you know, I think to be sensible, we're looking around that three-week mark uh, for both situations. Obviously, two different injuries. Um, obviously, the, the medical team will rehab both players. I've got confidence they'll have them back when it's safe to, to for them to return. Um, in terms of Jacko, we've had more positive news on the scan, so there's not very much muscle damage in there. Um, there's no muscle tear, but there's been a, a small bleed in there that we're going to have to protect. So he'll be a couple of weeks as well, but it's definitely on the positive side rather than the negative side in terms of his report. Morning, Stephen. Good um, morning. Do you think last season's experience against Braga over the two legs could, could serve your players well going into this in terms of, you know, you also had that frantic first leg like you did last week? And then you'll be able to Listen, I think, I think you can always tap into uh, experiences, good or bad. Um, from previous games and fixtures, but with all due respect, this is a new fixture against a new manager, a new opposition. Um, it's a new game. The game sits different. Um, obviously, the we went to Braga uh, in the second leg away. This time we're at home, so it has a lot of differences as well. Um, but I don't think there's any harm tapping into previous experience, especially when you've been on the good side of them, you know, to use that for confidence and belief going into this game. We want to back ourselves, we want to play at the right times, but I think the key to this this second leg is um, what we do out of possession, how organised we are, how difficult we are to play against. I've got no doubt that at the right times we can hurt this opposition, but we have to do 
the most important job first, and that's to be tough, organised, difficult to play against, aggressive, and then go and create our moments to execute when they come. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning. Stephen, when you look back to this stage last year, what do you think is the big difference between your team, your squad now, and 12 months ago in terms of growth? Well, I think our recruitment was very good. I think adding key players to what we already had here was very important. Um, I think the experience of the previous two seasons, as, as we've used to our, our benefit in terms of our growth and, and trying to move forward, uh, the work that's happened on the training pitch from all my coaching staff that we've put in um, as well, I think it's been a real combination of factors. But I think the key thing here is always that hunger and uh, determination to become more consistent. Um, I think our results have, have pr proved that. Um, we've been unstoppable um, up to this point. Um, obviously, St Mirren are the only team that managed to do that, and we weren't ourselves on that night. Credit to St Mirren, but we came off what we've been for the majority of the season, and that's been a real hungry team, and we've managed to find that level of consistency to get results. Hi, Stephen. Um... You mentioned uh, the, other, the other week that you let yourself think about the title but not get carried away. Can I just ask, sitting there now, knowing that you're 90 minutes away potentially from the last 16 of Europe, you're seven points away from the league, how do you feel sitting there as Rangers manager? What does it mean to you? Because you can see in social media what it means to the fans, but what does it mean to you? Well, look, I think uh, it's not about me, is, is, is the truth. It's about the supporters, it's about the club, it's about the players. Um, I totally respect the position I'm sitting in right now. Um, we're on the verge of turning Europe into a successful season again by, by matching last season's effort to get into the last 16, but we've still got a big job to do tomorrow night. If we can do that, that'll be a, a real positive in terms of our journey, but that'll give us the determination to try and go one step further than last year from a European point of view. Um, we're obviously on the verge uh, in terms of uh, the league campaign, which I'm, I'm extremely proud of, but um, my attitude and um, focus won't change until, until we go and get it done. There's still work to do, there's still hurdles to get over, there's tough games on the horizon, but we're extremely determined to go and um, take the opportunity that we've got sitting here right now, that, and that opportunity is to make Europe a success and also domestic um, in terms of the league as well so um, it's a fantastic position to be in but we've got to go and grab it now and um, really go and capitalise on the position we're in.